నమస్తే ఐఎమ్ కృష్ణ చైతన్య మండేలా యువర్ ఈవి బ్రో రైట్ నో ఐ మీన్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ నెల్లూరు ద కంపెనీ నేవ్ ఇస్ టెర్రోనోవా ఐఎమ్ హీర్ విత్ ద టెక్నికల్ హెడ్ మిస్టర్ ఎన్సన్ ఫస్ట్లీ నమస్తే సార్ టుడే దెర్ ఈస్ అన్ అజంప్షన్ ఇన్ కామన్ పబ్లిక్ దట్ లిథియం ఐఆన్ బ్యాటరీస్ ఆర్ నథింగ్ బట్ బాంబ్స్ దేర్ ఆర్ లో లాట్ ఆఫ్ లిథియం అండ్ బ్యాటరీ వెహికల్స్ ఆర్ బీయింగ్ ఎక్స్ప్లోడెడ్ అండ్ దీస్ డేస్ యూ ఆర్ ఆఫరింగ్ ఎల్ఎఫ్పి బ్యాటరీ బ్యాక్ ఇన్వర్టర్ హోమ్ హోమ్ ఇన్వర్టర్స్ ఎస్ డోంట్ యూ థింక్ ఇట్ ఈస్ డేంజర్ ఫర్ పీపుల్ హూ ఆర్ యూజింగ్ this uh, lfp battery pack technology as an inverter no actually first uh, you have to understand that in lithium batteries there are uh, more than 10 chemistries are there so in this 10 chemistries more than 10 chemistries actually so one chemistry is lithium ferrophosphate so lithium ferrophosphate is the safest of all i am no which battery you are uh, suggesting actually that is nmc Mm. or nmc or ncm they will say mm. it is nickel cobalt and manganese lithium nickel co- uh, cobalt and manganese the cell uh, energy density is very high so actually that cell is the one who is exploding everywhere in the ev in the normal scooters and uh, wherever you are hearing the news mm. it's not lfp lithium ferrophosphate battery is the one which is safest of all mm. and we are offering lithium ferrophosphate battery for the home inverter mm. so it's uh, it's clear actually it's the safest battery it will never explode by itself i have a specific question the lead acid battery pack inverters existed in the market for almost like 40 plus years now you have come up with lfp battery pack uh, home inverters uh, as of my knowledge the lead acid battery pack inverters are very cheaper they are affordable but your lfp battery pack inverters almost like uh, 50 to 60% higher than the existing uh, lead acid battery pack inverter then why should a customer purchase this lfp battery pack inverter so uh, if you are comparing lithium battery with lead acid battery there are so many advantages like uh, life simple so the uh, lead acid battery actual projected life is only 3 years 3 years they will say 5 years but uh, it is 3 years only there because it is 700 only their life cycles so ours is more than 3000 life cycles if you are counting with the year it will go more than 10 years mm. in in the 3000 life cycle you will get 80 percentage and if you are going again it will only come down but in lead acid battery from the starting onwards their efficiency is only 65 to 75 mm. and it is coming down from there mm. we have more than 96 and 97 efficiency other thing is that it is maintenance free our battery as well as the inverter is a totally maintenance free that is you can uh, it's a fit and forget mm. once you installed your inverter our uh, terra nova lithium inverter you don't have to do anything like uh, in lead acid battery you have to fill the distilled water so uh, like that and uh, every every three four years you have to change the battery here you can uh, in a, with our inverter and our battery you can go up to more than nine ten plus years but, so but you actually you are offering 5 years of warranty F- warranty is 5 years only that is uh, it's not a thing i mean we are offering 5 years warranty but the life is more but than 10 years but in lead acid battery pack converters also companies offering 5 years of warranty they will usually offer 3 plus 2 mm. the first 3 years they will do the replacement and the next 2 years they will buy back it with a certain amount and for the new battery you have to pay extra amount mm. so we are offering up to 5 years uh, replacement warranty if you look at the current home inverters the wattage they are offering for the home inverter is almost like uh, 800 watts up to 1050 watts they are offering coming to lfp inverter what is the maximum wattage you are offering so our range is starting from 800 va mm. so normally it will come on uh, 800 va 1000 va mm. uh, 1.5 kva mm. 2 kva 3 kva like that we have solutions from 800 va to 75 kva mm. So that will be in the industrial section, not for the home inverters. Mm. For home inverters, we have solution up to 10 kVA. Mm. Yes. And today, most of the people who are using the inverter in the homes, they are using lead acid battery packs. Mm-hmm. So those inverters are compatible with lead acid batteries. Uh, yes. Yes. Now, you, if, if, right now you are offering LFP battery packs. Correct. So are these LFP battery packs compatible with the lead acid battery pack inverters? Uh, it's, the question, answer is no, a simple no. because. The charging mechanism, charging voltage and discharging voltage, everything is different mm. because uh, in uh, lithium battery, lithium ferrophosphate battery, we are using CCCV charging mechanism, constant current and constant voltage uh, charging mechanism mm. we are using. Uh, in lead acid battery, float to boost, 
mm. we have to boost the voltage then it should come down then float the charging the mm. charging voltage and in uh, lead acid battery the charging is like 24 into 7 mm. because you need to keep the gravity level here once your battery is charged in a lithium ferrophosphate battery once the battery is charged fully you don't have you don't need to go for the floating voltage mm. that's because the self we don't need to maintain the charging yes you don't need to maintain once it is consumed then only you have to uh, you have to do the charging mm. if you are not using one month uh, we have a special program it will detect that and it will again charge mm. if you are not using for one month mm. so we have that uh, solution also we have it's already inbuilt in our product mm. so that is there and for the lead, lead acid battery because of that your electricity bill will come higher if you are comparing with the lithium ferrophosphate inverter okay yes now coming to the pricing mm -hmm. co considering the 50 considering 150h uh, lead acid battery pack uh, inverter that costing around 18000 rupees now how much does this uh, lfp battery pack inverter cost for the same 150h so uh, for the 150h lead acid battery it is easily replaceable with the 100h lithium ferrophosphate battery mm. with the lithium compatible inverter. inverter so 100h battery is equivalent to their 150h mm. and they are giving 3 plus 2 warranty we are giving 5 years warranty how come it is uh, equal to that so the thing is that the uh, 150h efficiency you will get the in output i mean it's like a c10 c20 they will say mm. C20 in the sense, if you are using for 20 hours discharge, then only you will get 150H. Mm. So in home inverter, if you are even using a fan, that C20 is broke. Of course, in 2BHK, you will use 4 fan, 4 lights or something like that. Mm. I mean, and 2 plug point, 1 TV. Mm. So there is no C20, there is no C10. So you will never get 150 from there itself. Mm you will get 65 to 75 percentage efficiency that is around 100 h mm. the same if you are coming to lithium battery we are giving 100 h battery with 96 above h uh, mm. efficiency mm. so of course you will get 96 and above h mm. from the day one mm. in lead acid battery you will get 65 to 75 age, 75 percentage efficiency in the day one mm. so it's same and we are having more life cycles than them it's like uh, four times more it's four times more than them mm. so they'll have three times a uh, three years or a uh, three years left lifetime you will have more than 10 plus year lifetime mm. so once it is only the initial investment mm. after initial investment uh, every three year four year you have to replace the lead acid battery mm. but in lithium battery you, you have to if you want to replace you can wait up to 10 years mm. so it's equivalent it's actually it's more uh, profitable if you're comparing now coming to lead acid battery pack inverters mm. We all know that lead can be recyclable. Mm. So lead acid battery, most of the batteries are being recycled. Yes. Now coming to the lithium ion batteries, LFA battery packs, in India, very less percentage of recycling is happening. Mm. So uh, can we consider these green batteries? Can we call lead acid as more greener? No, actually, uh, in the recycling in the sense, uh, reusable you are saying, mm. or uh, we can throw it out. I mean, I need the answer for that. So recyclable. So we have to reuse it, you yeah. are saying. So it's possible mm. so um, in the uh, lower applications actually we are we can use it but not right now mm. because it's a new area uh, and it's, it's a developing area in india uh, in abroad it's already there and they are re recycling and reusing it's already happening mm. so it have to come here and it will happen in two or three years i'm sure now coming to the weight factor mm. so as you mentioned that it is more efficient the lfa battery pack is there any weight difference in in terms of uh, lead acid battery pack inverter and uh, and LFP battery pack inverter? Yes, of course. Actually, if you are considering a weight of 150H, I told you 150H of lead acid battery and 100H of lithium ferrophosphate battery is equal. almost equal. 100H LFP battery weight is 9 kg. Mm. 9 kgs. Mm. 150H of lead acid battery is more than 55 kgs. So it's five times more. It's more than five times. Only 9 kg? Yes. I have a very important question like whenever somebody installing the inverters in terms of uh, lead acid battery packs or LFP inverter, is there any kind of difference in the installation process? Uh, no, there is uh, nothing difference. There is no difference actually. Uh, input is coming, output you have to give mm. the same. But in our wall mountable inverter there is an advantage because battery is already inbuilt mm. so you don't need to connect the battery externally mm. so that's it mm. otherwise it's all almost same mm. so 
a electrician who is only uh, doing or uh, installing lead acid battery inverters mm. also can install lithium inverters mm. now after your customer purchased your home inverters lfp battery packs will you offer any free service to them so uh, I told you we have five year warranty on the battery mm. and uh, two years warranty on the inverter mm. so m normally this service in the sense maintenance mm. so uh, that is already explained we don't have any maintenance mm. so we don't need to do any maintenance if mm. any warranty issues coming our persons will come and attend so not at all in the entire five years no kind of service required except only any kind of problems in there yes exactly so any kinds of problems in how many how much time you will rectify that issue in andhra and telangana we can do it in 48 hours mm. and again in the previous questions you mentioned like uh, right now in india the recycling is uh, not started it no actually it is there mm. but it's not in a uh, very big manner like lead acid yes exactly lead acid is there for like 40 mm. years for, for example today if, if a person want to sell their lead acid battery pack they will get instant money there mm -hmm. so there is a re resale value do you think there is a resale value for uh, lfp battery pack inverters it is there but it, it will be less than lead acid of course mm. because that uh, market is new and it is blooming mm. So, it will take some time, but it is there, market is there and uh, you will get money hmm. and we will also help on that. Now, coming to the maintenance things, you, as you mentioned, there is no required of maintenance. Any kind of thing, like any kind of particular things that need to be taken care of customer or nothing they need to worry about. So, for our inverter, hmm. for our home inverter, everything actually is already inbuilt. So, there are some issues can happen like uh, under voltage. Hmm. So you have to restart your BMS. Mm. So normally other lithium ferrophosphate inverter manufacturers don't have that ability. They have to do it manually. Like uh, if there is a continuous uh, six hour, seven hour power cut is going mm. on and your battery is uh, low, uh, coming down. And if the BMS, there is a uh, told you there is BMS inside. Mm. If any chance the BMS is shut down, we have to restart the BMS. So, we have to do manually, mm. but our inverter, there is additional circuit we have, it's called SBR, mm. Smart Battery Resetting Technology. Mm. So, whenever the current is coming, it will automatically restart or reset the BMS and the charging will start and the inverter will also start. Mm. So, uh, that, that, that is actually exclusive for only for us. Mm. And today, if you look at the, as you previously mentioned, the, the cost between the LFP battery pack inverter compared with a lead acid battery pack inverter is much higher. Mm -hmm. Is there any possibility in the future, there is a chances of uh, cutting down the cost in terms of uh, LFP battery pack inverters? Yes, actually we are also hoping to cut down the cost, but uh, as of now, uh, we are giving very good cost. Uh, is it only customers. because of the LFP battery pack cell cost? Or that is other? depends, that is depends. We are using extra additional protection also, mm. that is not present in lead acid battery. So that cost is also adding and it is good for the customers also. Mm. You, they will get much more life without uh, more life and protection. Mm. So well, those cost is there, but we are expecting it will reduce and uh, we like to give our customers very good price. Tell me three reasons uh, why a customer need to choose Terranova LFP battery pack inverters. So our build quality is good and our cells are good and it is a maintenance free battery and it is uh, efficiency wise it's very high mm. and uh, we are there for support any issues and uh, you know it's a premium segment so i think it's enough okay. all the best to terranova thank you so that's the complete interview with the technical head of terranova they are offering uh, one of a kind uh, wall mounted lfp battery pack inverters anybody interested to buy their uh, lfp battery pack inverters we will provide the contact details in the screen and also in the description below if you like this video please like share and subscribe to eb bro charge the nature drive the future